What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about guild houses and how it would be a neat option to have actual guild houses in game instead of using maybe just someone's personal home. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website along with a 5% discount code is linked in the description as well. Uh, when it comes to houses here in the game, most of us own different types of houses. Most of us own lots of homes. And of course, if you own any guilds, you usually use one of those homes as your kind of, you know, your guild house. So we'll take my house, for example. I use uh, one of my homes, of course, you know, for the guild, guild house so people can come in and actually use the transmute station, you know, the trial dummy, some of the other different target dummies. Uh, I have crafting stations there. Not all like, um, not like some guild houses, you know, where they have all the uh, attunable stations or anything like that. But some people have Munda stones. There's a lot of different things you can add into a home for you know your guild members to take advantage of. That way, they don't have to go to you know a certain zone to find a Munda stone. They don't have to go to certain zones to craft you know different things. If you have attunable stations, if they want to test their DPS for trials, if they want to test their DPS, they want to test their builds. You have target dummies, that kind of thing. But of course, like I said, most of us are just using our own personal homes. And the one issue that I see with this, as we all know, a lot of people play the game for a while. They may quit. Somebody may have been a guild owner. Uh, they decide not to play anymore. And of course, then their house is, you know, kind of, it's still there, but nothing gets changed. Nothing gets upgraded. Uh, they may just quit altogether. They may leave the guild. Uh, they may leave it to someone else. So that house is kind of unusable anymore when that happens. Some people may even donate things. You know, there's an option there if you want to, you know, buy Munda stones, you want to buy tunable stations, you want to buy target dummies and actually give them to the, you know, the guild owner to have for a house that, you know, maybe, maybe some of the members are wanting things like that. And you might have some you know, uh, kind individuals in your guild that will actually donate some of that stuff to put into a guild house. So in the end, in my opinion, I wish there was a way to have a actual guild house, you know, where people can put stuff in it as they want, you know, the guild members, uh, maybe remove it as they want, you know, if it's something if they're going to leave the guild or have the option to do that at least. But I think overall it would be a really cool option to have the ability to have guild homes be separate from normal homes and have the option for the actual guild to purchase that house. So if there's a neat house that you want in the guild, you kind of split the cost between all the guild members. That way, you know, if something happens and, you know, somebody leaves, somebody quits, whatever the case may be, somebody doesn't play as much anymore, uh, somebody else has ownership, then they can kind of just transfer that, you know, guild house over to a different individual and all that stuff that's been purchased by, you know, different guild members will kind of still be there and can still be used by the guild because in my opinion, that's what it's kind of put there to begin with for, you know, that's why it's there in general. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this would be a neat option to have guild houses separate from regular houses? To have the option to, you know, be able to, you know, uh, split the cost maybe of some of these guild homes, you know, between different members. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what else you think about guild houses. Like if you have any other ideas or anything like that. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.